All right, so this is what I did. I put this entire structure over here. I turned back on the lights hitting six, you know, six and seven. I could toggle and I turned rendering to back to default quality because I don't want to design in that fashion. I want to smoothly go around the entire level very quickly. So this texture is going to look really bad now because I'm in a different view. Okay. Now what I want to do here is take and reverse all the normals on this. So to do that, I can go to polygons, I can go to normals and I can go to reverse. Okay. And now I can see on the inside of the model. Cause that will make sure back face culling is checked. Okay, that will allow me to see inside the level. Because essentially, remember, uh, the Unity game engine only sees it like this. I'm inside here, and I can see walls. But if I'm on the outside, I'm going to have to worry about a different structure to encase this world. Uh, if I'm running up to it, this would be a building with the normals facing this way. And then once I get inside, nobody's a wiser because I can just be inside this room. Okay. It, uh, Unity game engine does not project normals on both sides. Just Maya does. All right. Now that means let's do some UV texture edit trickery. Okay. And what I could do is look at here and see which one's my floors or which one's my ceilings. So I got my faces. Okay, so those are my ceilings. And here's all my floors. So see how easy that was to grab those? Very easy. Uh, so. I can assign that texture. Assign the existing material, floor one. And it's gonna be huge, absolutely huge compared to this, okay? That's normal, don't freak out. What I can do now is start thinking about tiling. So I can go to Hypershade and I can start looking at these textures. The first one I'm going to start to manipulate is the color itself because it's easy to represent that here and I can go to place 2d5 texture and repeat it let's say 10 and 10 okay that's starting to look better not too bad I'm even going to go further with that and say uh, 2020 And I got to decide that. So what is it? 40. That looks really kind of cool. So there we go. We got the floor textures. And as you can imagine, maybe the hallways has a different floor textures corresponding to the room. So that's what you would do. You would grab those faces and assign a different floor texture. Now, each one of these has to be tiled correctly. So 40, 40, 40. That's what I've decided. Just like that. And if I wanted to check those out, the one thing that's going to have a hard time with is under uh, high quality rendering. Oh, it doesn't look bad. It's pretty good. And now I got to, I got to put my camera more into the level a little bit more I kind of walk around a little bit and see how this works see how it looks good now if we go back to UV land you're gonna see what happened these are really small now but if I zoom in I still get the right texture resolution it's all how I bake out the map in the end that really counts, okay? But 
what will happen here is I grab this UV and I go to shell and I can move this around a little bit okay I can also disattach most, most of the rooms and work on all rooms separately if I wanted to too by scaling this up it's going to scale down the texture but I only have a limited area to move in so that's the one thing nice about the tile situation is you know I'm tiled out I can I can manipulate it via the tile or manipulate it via the scale but I will run out of scale I can't run out of tile Okay, it's starting to look really nice. All right, now, in much the same fashion, all walls and hallways need to have the same thing. Now, I did floors for you. Floors were really easy. Let's look at a wall and how that works, and then we'll go on to the next video. So, on to the next video where I kind of pick out a wall texture corresponding to the floor texture.